In this video, we'll go over the basics of using Vuforia Chalk, including starting a session with someone from your company contact list, mapping your environment, and drawing annotations onto your screen, and accessing a summary at the end of your session. There are two ways to initiate a Chalk session once you're logged into the Chalk app. You can make a direct call from your contact list, or you can host a Chalk session that other participants can join using a nine-digit connect code. In this video, we'll focus on adding someone to your contact list and calling them directly. You can add contacts from your company directory by clicking on the Add Contact button in the middle of your screen, or by using the menu in the top right corner. Press the Add Contact button and then select From Company Directory, and use the search bar to find the users from your company directory that you want to add to your contact list with the plus button next to their name. Once they're added, just click on their name to initiate a session with that contact. When you initiate a chalk session with someone from your contact list, you'll be asked which user wants to share their screen. If you're the person who needs help, then share your screen so the other person can see your environment and help solve the problem you're facing. If you're a subject matter expert who is providing remote assistance to someone, then the other participant should share their screen so you can draw annotations onto their environment. If you've elected to share a view of your surroundings, you'll need to help Chalk learn your environment at the beginning of the session. Before you let Chalk map your environment, make sure your surroundings are well lit and there are stationary objects with well-defined features. Once you begin sharing your view, you should see a message along with yellow dots that show your mapping progress. When the dots appear, move slowly and steadily around the area you want to share. It's important that the camera sees your environment from different angles to map it successfully. Move your camera in a slow forward and backward motion. Small circles in front of an object will also help. If Chalk does not map your environment successfully the first time, try again. Keep your device's orientation fixed and don't rotate your camera when it's scanning your surroundings. If you need more light, you can turn on your device's flashlight. You can map as many additional environments as you need to in a chalk session, but you can only map one environment at a time. To map another environment, unshare your view by using the menu in the upper right-hand corner of the app and tapping the camera icon. After that, point your camera at a new location and turn your shared view back on you'll see a prompt from the app to resume your view of the original location, which you can dismiss by clicking the X in the top right corner of the notification. You will then see a new prompt to share your video, and you can initialize another environment for a new shared view. Once your environment is mapped, you'll see a message that you can start drawing annotations. If you want to undo any of the annotations you've made, tap the Undo button in the lower right corner. To undo all your annotations, Hold down on the Undo button until all the annotations are cleared. There are some additional features of the Chalk app that may be useful during your session. When you tap the Menu button in the top right corner, several options will appear. The first button shows the participant list. The second button turns your video feed on and off. The third button mutes your microphone. The fourth button turns on your flashlight. The fifth button changes your annotation color. Finally, tapping the button in the top left corner stops the call. At the end of your chalk session, you'll get a session summary featuring relevant points of interest that were captured during your session. Chalk auto captures these points of interest when annotations are made during the session. Session summaries can be exported when you need to provide evidence of service work, share knowledge or feedback with your team or improve quality control processes. If you choose not to export the session summary at the end of your session, the captured images will be deleted and cannot be retrieved. Your account administrator can enable and disable the use of session summaries. If you are unable to view a session summary at the end of your session, contact your administrator, as they might need to enable them for your account.